This problem is a great example of not making things harder than they have to be. It's really easy. Just read the instructions. Parametrize. So we're going to take a Cartesian equation right here, and we're going to turn it into a system of equations, a parametrized system of equations. The way we're going to do that, let's fill out the instructions, is by setting the independent variable equal to t. Now, do you guys know what an independent variable is? It's the one that doesn't care what the other variable is. So you see that if we look at this equation right here, x cares a lot about what y is. y will change the value of x. Okay, so we call x the dependent variable. y gets to be whatever it wants, right? You plug in values of y and you figure out what x is. So we say y is the independent, uh, in dip, in deep, yeah, independent, <laughs> the independent variable. Okay, so we're going to set y equal to t. Okay, y is independent, and, and literally that's your answer for this part. And x is going to be the dependent variable, so we just replace all the y's with t. So negative 2t in there, plus t plus 6. Okay, and that's it. Now, if you're looking at this like, well, that was dumb. Yeah, okay, it kind of is. But this is the intro step into how to write systems of equations with parameters. Okay, so we're not going to throw the hardest stuff at you in, in problem number one.